So good day everyone. So for today's activity, uh, I will show you how to create a uh, crossover combination using this uh, following tools and materials. So uh, before that, I will going to uh, explain the difference difference between crossover and straight through or the T568A and T568B. So the straight through cables or the T568A are used to connect different types of devices like computer to a switch. Then wiring arrangement of T568A as both ends are the same. Then the crossover cables or the T568B are the uh, specifically designed to connect similar devices such as two computers or two switches. T568B or the crossover is the combination of T568A and T568B wire combination. But before we proceed, so I will going to introduce the different uh, tools or materials and their functions and how to create or make the crossover cables, the T568B. So first is the crimping tools, which uh, the RJ45 will uh, put in this uh, slot so that it will be crimped if the wires is uh, already uh, fit in the different slot of this uh, RJ45, the pin out. Then second is the wire stripper. So this wire strippers, uh, it will use to cut these wires, uh, this uh, cover so that it will be removed and will show the different wire combination inside. So the fourth one is the scissor. So it, it will use to cut the wire so that it will be aligned. Then uh, next is the RJ45, the uh, pass through. So if you can see uh, this slot here, uh, this is the slot that will going to uh, insert the different uh, wires in our UTP cable. Then the last one is the uh, tester. The so if you can see, so this is the uh, blink, so that it will uh, show that our tester is uh, already function. And now uh, we're going to uh, demonstrate how to. Uh, what is the proper way to uh, create the RG45 uh, crossover cable? So first, we'll cut this uh, uh, cable wires uh, one inch using this uh, wire stripper. So it's like this, you need to turn around until the wire will be cut and you will be slowly because the wire inside will need to prevent so that it will not be uh, cut. Then, as you can see, this is the 8 wires combination in our UTP cables. So, we need to uh, separate this 8 combination. So we need to straight these wires so that will be insert in the RJ45 slot or pass through the generics. Then after you uh, rearrange the wires, we need to follow the standard wire combination for the crossover. So for the other uh, ends of this uh, cable so the wire combination is first is the white green followed by the green followed by the white orange then followed by the blue this one then followed by the white blue the next is the orange then followed by the white brown and 
the brown. After you uh, arrange the proper combination of the different wires, this is the eight color wire combination. So we need to insert these wires in the RJ45. So the proper uh, way to hold the RJ45 is like this. If you start counting, so this is the right, the left one is the uh, pin one. Then in the other side is the pin eight. So you hold, you hold the wire like this, then the RJ45. Then you need to insert the wires like this. But before you crimp, before you use this crimp, you need to check the wire combination if exactly correct. So uh, the white green, green, white, orange, blue white blue orange white brown and brown so if the wire combination is correct so you need to push it push then after that we can already perform this frame so as, as you can see this slot so we need to put like this. And like this. Then if already okay, we need you need to hold like this and then push and like this. Frame. So if the wire is not already cut, so you need to frame it again until it will be removed. So this one. Then after that, we need to proceed to the other end. So we need to perform like this as what I did in the first end so we need to roll it until the wire will be cut then remove and then rearrange then And then we need to follow the T568B wire combination or the arrangement. So this is the standard or the constant wire combination for this cable. So the first color for this uh, wire combination for the T568B is the white orange then followed by the orange then the white green after that followed by the blue then the white blue wait white blue then the green then followed by the white brown and brown so as you can see uh, this is the color combination uh, for the T568B so first is white orange orange followed by white green blue white blue green white brown and the brown so if the color combination is correct so we need to uh, put this wire in the RJ45 pass through Hold like this, and then the RJ45 will be the supination. So insert. So if the wire combination is correct, so we need to push this one, push, and then you need to twist this wire so that if we insert in the RJ uh, in the crimping, so it will be easily to insert.
So like this. Ah, sorry. Like this. So this is the proper uh, way how to insert this uh, RJ45 in the frame. So we need to frame like this. Until the wire will be cut. This is the finished product for our uh, crossover cable with a combination of T560A and the T560B. So for now, we are going to test this uh, wire if it will be function. So the polar combination of this uh, crossover is the white uh, 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 1, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 2, 7, 7, 8, 8. If our uh, finished product will be uh, the same output for what I've said, so it will be okay. So, okay. 3, 1, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 2, 7, 7, 8. So if the combination is goes like that, so your um, crossover is completely correct. So I hope uh, for this uh, video or this uh, tutorial for the crossover cables, I hope you uh, learn something and you can do it this using that video. So that's all and have a nice day.